food at the Bahia Principe Luxury Acumal Resort in Riviera Maya, Mexico. So welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are going over all of the food at the Bahia Principe Luxury Acumal. I recently just stayed here for several days. It is a five-star resort in the Riviera Maya and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. So this is a series of the Bahia Principe Luxury Resort. I did do already a full walkthrough and the rooms in the resorts as well. So definitely check out all of those videos. So I want to say right off the bat that this was actually the best food that I've had at a resort in a really long time. You can look at all of the other videos that I have for all the resorts that I go through all throughout here um, in Mexico in the Riviera Maya. And this had to be the best quality food. Bahia Principe is a five-star resort. So you would want the food to be at a five-star level, which I definitely feel that it was. The quality, the freshness, the variety, and the specialty restaurants was absolutely delicious. So I wanted to discuss that on this video because I always get questions on all of my videos like how did you make your reservations for the specialty restaurants so Bahia Principe is all over um, the Caribbean you know they're also in other countries not just Mexico so they are a very big brand so they actually have an app and I was hesitant to download the app I was like oh god here goes another app that I have to download and whatever but it is actually so helpful and so easy to use and they actually let you kind of check in before your reservation 10 days prior to your reservation actually and then once they allow you to check in is where you can actually make reservations for the specialty restaurants and um, a little piece of advice I would absolutely if I were you do it as soon as they allow you to I like I said hesitated I didn't want to download another app and then about a couple of days before I arrived I said you know what for the sake of my viewers and my videos I really want to get to the specialty restaurants so I really should download the app and I downloaded the app super easy I was able to check in that was also very easy you just have to take a picture of your passport or your ID depending what country you are from and then when I went to make reservations I want to tell you guys that things were already pretty booked up so I was kind of upset because a few places that I did want to try out like the Brazilian steakhouse uh, if you don't know Brazilian steakhouse is like all you can eat meat um, so a couple of the places that I wanted to try were fully booked up um, because if you do not know, when you come to Bahia Principe Luxury Acumal, you actually have access to all of the sister resorts around um, on the actual compound. So the specialty restaurants are not just here at Acumal, even though the ones that are presented in this video are specifically on Acumal because again, this video was strictly for that. But I still wanted to try out the other restaurants and about 50% or more of the restaurants were already booked um, a few days prior to me even checking in. So a very, very big piece of advice is when they allow you to download the app and check in 10 days prior, go ahead and do it guys, especially if you don't want to be eating at the buffet breakfast lunch and dinner you absolutely need to make sure that you go you download the app and as soon as they let you check in you start making reservations for the specialty restaurants so you can ensure that you do get um a table and there is availability especially depending how large of a group you are going with i was only myself so it was 
um, even a little bit more easy to get a table and it was still pretty booked out a couple of days prior. So really make sure that you do that. Now, we are about to right now, we are at the steakhouse. I do want to say that this was probably my least favorite of the specialty restaurants. Um, you know, the steak, okay, it was kind of fine. It, you know, it wasn't really tough, but it also wasn't very chewy. The mac and cheese, especially coming from the U.S., was watery. It was a little runny, kind of a little weird. Um, but, you know, again, just getting out of the buffet and being able to eat something that wasn't a buffet was still helpful. So make sure you guys make your reservations. I really hope this video was helpful. Subscribe and like. I will see you guys soon.